My name is uh, Don Sanders, and I grew up in Adair County, a little community called Line Switch. And our part of the community was uh, Sanders Flats, and lived up on a on a hill there at Sanders Flats. That's where we grew up. Ellis and Mally Sanders, my parents. I had uh, three sisters and uh, six brothers. There was ten of us all together. There's some young men. Uh, there on Sanders Flats, and uh, we made stick horses. I don't know if you've ever heard of a stick horse, but we, we made stick horses, you know. And we did a lot of that when we was growing up. We'd run through the woods on our stick horses, and we had them named and everything. And then we'd take old rubber tires and roll them, put dust in them, you know, and then roll them down a hill, and that dust would be going. That was, that, we had fun doing that. Played marbles a lot. At recess and uh, and I remember I remember going to school and you know then um, we liked to go barefoot we didn't want to wear shoes so uh, our parents would make us put on our shoes before we went to school but there at the school and they had an old bell there and when they still rang the bell for recess and everything and around the bell they had a wall built probably oh maybe three feet high around it and every morning when we got off the bus, that's where we'd go. And that's where we'd take our shoes off and we'd put them in there. And we'd go barefooted all day and at going home, we'd go by and pick our shoes up and put them on and go home. I had a horse, the name was Dolly. And I remember that. And uh, it always plow and I would ride the horse while he was plowing. So that, that, that's, that's a good memory that I have of growing up. We had to pull weeds and uh, uh, it wouldn't let us have a hole because we'd probably chop something down, you know, so we just had to use our hands. And Mom, we always had a wood stove and a wood cook stove, so we had to get the killing in of an evening to start the fire of a morning and Mom to start her fire. Had to get the sun for noon for another fire and that evening for another fire, so, so gathering killing was a pretty good chore. Yeah, we had a well, but we had, we had no electricity. I don't, uh, we didn't have electricity, I guess, till after I was in high school, I think. We didn't have candy very much or anything like that. And mom, uh, she'd always make biscuits. And uh, what we didn't uh, eat, she would cut them the white inside. And she'd cut that out and make little squares about that long. She'd take sugar and melt it into a liquid and she would take that and she'd put that and she'd pour that on there and then fry it and that that I can still taste that you know those things like that uh, we just call it sweet bread we pick strawberries and we'd do that and we'd make we'd make money then there was a store down there by our uh, swimming hole and me and some of the, the Smith boys and some of the other Sanders We'd take and we'd pick strawberries till about noon and we'd make a little money. Then we'd go to the store and we'd buy maybe salt or uh, maybe some bread or something like that. And then um, we had always rode horses too. And and there was an old built old shack up in the woods, and that's where we'd go. We'd go. We'd go. We didn't fish. We noodled and. Uh, We'd fill a tow sack full of fish, and then we'd go up there, and we'd stay for two or three days up there, just just that, you know. We ran out of uh, salt and bread, and then we'd go home. <laughs> I remember one time, never been to, to a picture show or a movie, and uh, Dad wanted to take me to, to the movie, and I really didn't want to go. I think he wanted to go more than I did. But I did, because I'd never seen one, and uh, uh, we didn't have a TV, of course, no electric, and. Uh, Anyway, uh, so, so well, okay, so we went. Uh, I think we paid our nickel to get in, and they give us a ticket. And when you walk into the old Eagle Theater in Stillwell, there was a you worked the curtain back, and there it was inside. And uh, so walked in there, and I didn't know what was going on anyway, really. And he pulled the curtain back for us to go on in there. And uh, about that time that. Uh, I don't know what it's MGM or whatever, where that big lion comes out and roars. 
and on that big screen, and I walked in there, and that's the first thing that came out like that. And uh, needless to say, uh, we, we didn't stay in there. <laughs> we didn't see the movie that day. <laughs>